Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today I thought we would be painting this cute little butterfly and flowers and the tones are gonna be a little bit orangey green and I think this won't be so difficult as it maybe looks and well again all the materials I will be using in this video are listed down in the description box so you can go ahead and check it out. Also you will find there a link for a free sketch that you can download from my website make it a little bit easier on yourself. So go ahead download it, print it out, trace it and we can get started. First thing I did is prevent the entire paper including butterfly and also flowers you know because I will be adding paint a little bit further away from them and even though if some paint goes also into the flowers or butterfly that's also fine so don't be bothered with that and then I used green olive green and started just adding color here and there I added also a little bit of Mars brown and just painted in the background mimicking some foliage also there and afterwards I sprinkled some just clean water what will definitely be the help in achieving that impression of foliage and some leaves in the background after that after the paint completely dried I prevented the part where my flowers are and just added a little bit of cadmium yellow medium here and there I did not try to stay inside the petals or you know painted every single petal but just the entire part of the flowers I've painted in I've blocked in with cadmium yellow medium also same thing I did for the other flower and as you can see I've tapped in a little bit more paint here and there and then a little bit less here and there also I've added a little bit of golden deep into my yellow and just again added it to my flower and not to the entire petals but just on some parts of it making some parts a little bit darker and some a little bit lighter Again, when the paint completely dried, I prevented the petal and then started to paint it with that mix of cadmium yellow medium and golden deep and just added one wash of the, that mix and then on the lower part of the petal added a little bit of golden deep, a little bit of that darker mix and then later on some cadmium red light to make that lowest part and the middle part of the flower just slightly darker than the rest of it. In the same way I will be painting all the flowers, all the petals, just adding first wash of cadmium yellow medium then on top of it adding a little bit of golden deep here and there and on the bottom on the lowest part of the petal just a little bit of cadmium red light. So you can just use any yellow you have and any red that could be just primary red and also primary yellow those colors are quite warm also and this flower should be warm I was just going for the warm type of flowers warm warm colors so just mix in those two colors and you will get the orange that you can also use I've added a little bit of sepia also to my lowest petal and that petal is also the most in the shadow so I did want that petal to be slightly darker than the other ones so as I said I will be repeating this process on every single petal on both of the flowers so I will just leave you now to enjoy it.
Even though I did use a reference photo for this painting, I sneaked in those flowers that were my inspiration. And you know, I love flowers and I love springs because spring because there are all sorts of flowers everywhere. So I got these flowers for myself and I guess I was just inspired again to paint flowers. So they were actually my inspiration. When that layer of paint dried, I then used a detail brush and just added a little bit of sepia into my cadmium yellow medium to get slightly darker color, to get slightly more brownish color, to add some details on the flowers, actually to add some veins. And as I said, I really didn't want to use too much, too dark color because I don't want those lines to stand out too much, just slightly darker so that they do stand out, but not really too much. When all that paint on the first layer dried, I thought that those flowers were just too light for me and, well, they seemed too, you know, too, too transparent, I guess, for me. So I decided to add another layer. I will be adding a little bit more paint to it a couple of times till I get the saturation of the color that I want. I did not want to put too much color on the paper straight away because I did I did want them to be quite vibrant but again I I rather do it in layers than to add just too much paint at one time because when you're adding layer when you're building on your layers those layers underneath also show so that is actually what I like and those veins that I've painted and also all those layers are just showing through and just giving the versatility to the flowers and more believability I guess to those petals so that's the reason why I was doing it in layers and why I also did not want to add just a lot of pigment on a first layer and not do any other layers and I did not prevent the paper for the second layer or for the third or fourth I just added on top of my on top of my dry paper just wet paint I did use technique dry on wet but I did have wet wet on dry I'm sorry <laughs> wet on dry so I did use a quite amount of water in my brush to add in well for the for the next layers you will see that pretty soon but for this one I've just added a little bit of the paint on the bottom of the petals that little bit of red paint also the darkest shadow I painted in with sepia 
I guess I did want some of them to quite stand out. Maybe they didn't turn out to be so realistic, but I did want them to be darker. So as I was saying before, now I'm adding that layer of paint. This is cadmium yellow medium to make it slightly vibrant. And also on the bottom of the flower uh, of petals, I'm adding cadmium red light or that red to make that part also a little bit darker. And this time, as you can see, I did not really try to blend those colors. I did leave it maybe harsher edges between those two, between those two colors. And now I moved on to painting my butterfly and for the butterfly I'm also using same colors as I did for the flower. I started with painting and actually I'm using the same technique again. I painted in the cadmium yellow medium as a first layer then on top of it added a little bit of golden deep and on the well the part nearest to the body of the butterfly I've added a little bit of cadmium red light and also on the lines that are the, the rif, differentiating <laughs> the line that this is well the separation between those two wings and also on some parts of its wings after that while that paint is drying i added a little borders on my on my petals and for that i used cadmium lemon and i mixed it with white gouache because you know if I only use cadmium lemon it actually wouldn't be so visible because you know what colors are transparent so I've added a little bit of white gouache to it just to make it a little bit more opaque and then painted in those borders those edges of my petals and I also added it here and there on some petals just to make it slightly lighter I also went back and in the same manner added another layer to my butterfly and after that I painted in the stem for the flower and I used mix of olive green and green and just later on added a little bit of only sepia to make that part just beneath the flower and also on one side of the stem a little bit darker as though a, as if it is in the shadow. With a detail brush I've painted the edges of the butterfly, butterfly wings and also the part that is separating those two wings and with that detail brush I just slightly press it a little bit harder to get that a little bit thicker line and a little bit lighter just glide on the surface to get the thinner line. Also I've used sepia as I did use it on my flower for the darkest parts. So as I've mentioned earlier and as you could have seen yourself I'm actually repeating the colors in my butterfly that I used for the flowers because I do want those two to be in the same color family and I do want them to be quite similar in their colors so I am painting the well top of the wings of butterfly wings a lighter then going inwards with a orange and then just nearest to the body of butterfly using red and also in just the part just nearest to the to the body I'm using sepia also the color I'm using for the butterfly body
at the end I did finish my painting with a couple of less details using white gouache just adding the whitest highlights on my butterfly and also on the flowers and I will be adding a couple of more sprinkles because you know I love sprinkles and need to put them in so I will be adding a little bit more sprinkles with orange and also with green and with that I'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video I hope you liked it and maybe it did seem a little bit difficult at the beginning but I'm sure you can get the hang of it and you can see that it's not really that difficult and I'm sure you can do it just get that sketch and just try it you know it doesn't have to be perfect but just try it I'm pretty sure it will turn out to be very nice and you will be completely happy with that and if you do like this video please hit the like button share it comment and let me know what you think about this video and about this painting and if you haven't still please subscribe to my channel it would really mean a lot to me and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!